Hello guys, Deb here with Art and Grace, and ho hopefully you're having a good day and you're ready for a little break. So pop in here, let me know you're here. I'm going to pull up the comments on my iPad. It's always much easier for me to read. And Tracy is getting me shared over into the Craft Around the Clock group. I am filling in today for somebody that wasn't able to be there, so happy always to be in that group of fantastic creators. Tracy Campbell runs it. She has My Sweet Home and uh, Craft Around the Clock group. So if you are not in the group and you're just watching me on my page, go up to the description in this video and you can click on Craft Around the Clock group and get in there and see all of the fantastic creators. Hi, Brenda. How are you this morning? Glad you're here. And yeah, come on in and we're going to have a little fun Many of you, I know, as you're popping in, let me know if you watched the um, Fairy Garden Week or Weekend. We had so much fun in the Sparkle Room creating fairy gardens. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see mine right there on that shelf. Hi, Debbie. Oh, good. I'm going to make some fairies. So, um, anyway, we all have loved it so much. And for me, it was my very first time to ever create anything related to a fairy garden. So I couldn't let the fun stop. I'm going to keep on going for at least today, maybe one more day. Yesterday, I showed, I should have grabbed this, but hold on. Yesterday, I showed how we made the river with the glass. So it's fully dry today, and here it is. It looks so pretty and sparkly, and it doesn't ever show up as well on camera, but you can pop these into your little pot or whatever you're making your fairy garden in and it adds a really sweet element because it's just eye-catching. So we did that yesterday. Today I'm going to show you some sweet fairies that you can pop into several things. So I'll show you a few ideas. Good morning Cindy Lou. Good morning Tamara. Hi Debbie. Odetta, thank you for spreading the grace Debbie. I appreciate that so much. I try to always go back. If you told me that you spread and, and I see that you did, I always try to go back and say something to you because I am so grateful. Um, if I ever miss it, you're welcome to say something because I want to thank you. Hi, Monica. Thank you for spreading, sprinkling. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Maria Liberty. Hello, Cecile. Glad you're here from all the way from Canada. Hi, Christy. Thank you for sprinkling. Okay, I hope I didn't miss anybody and I might have. Just come around and say hi again <laughs> if I missed you. I love saying hi to you guys. So I am going to take just one second to say hi because when my friends show up for me, I have to say hey. But hopefully, I am, if somebody will let me know if I've gotten sprinkled into the Craft Around the Clock group. Hi, Patty. Hello, Pat. Good, good afternoon, morning. I don't know, y'all. I never know what to say because times are always different for everybody. But um, Okay, y'all ready? Do y'all want a sneak peek? Do you want to see what we're making? Oh, Brenda, thank you for the stars, and Brenda, thank you for sprinkling. Okay, look, I'm going to show y'all because I just think they turned out precious. So we've got two little garden fairies made with natural elements, so nothing that we bought, you know, we just made them from scratch, so I'm going to show you. Well, when I say that, you know the bead, but we're going to make a couple of these, and then I'm going to show you a couple of things you can do with them. Oh, good. Thanks, Cindy. Okay, awesome. So... Let's get started with this cute little one. We'll do it first. I kind of grouped my supplies so that I could show you. This is all you need, really, to make this little. This is like a little pod, a dried pod of some type. If you happen to know what this is, let me know because I don't know what it's called. But it was in a bag like of potpourri kind of stuff. You know what I'm talking about when I call it potpourri because I don't know. The bag that you can get of dried elements. So look at Michael's Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx. All kind of places carry this stuff and it's just thinking outside the box guys it's just you know instead of using it only in your bowl look at it and see so I just looked at it and do you see where I got a little girl because it looks like a little dress and a little head so anyway that's kind of where that started and hi Manny hola Manny I always say hi hola hola thank you Sandra happy Tuesday to you um, and then I've got a piece of a flower. It's not even going to require the whole one. So don't throw away your little scraps, guys. And then these two little, again, I don't know, dried elements that were in that 
bag. So anybody know what these are? You know, I always think there's gonna be somebody on here who's like, oh, those are such and such. Hi, Anna, hi, Lisa. Hello, Janet from Oregon, glad to have you. Um, and then just the tiniest little piece of moss. That's all you need. These are pieces that fell off of one of my flower bushes. So I always throw them into a little, you know, one of the something to store these little pieces because I use them. So that's all. And then a stick and some wire. We can do this, y'all. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is glue this little piece to my pod. So just hot glue inside this little thing. I put a pretty good dollop of hot glue in there and then just pop it on top. Okay, actually I probably, I'm gonna take that off and cut this a little bit. This one has quite a tall lid to it, so I'm gonna cut that off a little bit. There, and get that a little shorter. Y'all doing okay today? Tell me how your day's going so far. I know I have a lot of friends that need some prayers, so um, if you are one of them, know that I am. I, I care about you guys, and I've had several come through this morning. Okay, so all I did was hot glue it upside down on this little pod. And of course, we can get these glue strings off, but simple, simple. Now, the fun comes in in making her crown, and I hope you guys can see my table okay. Um... Y'all let me know. I think you can. I know, Manny. It is. You know, I'm in Fort Worth, so I feel you. Every time you talk about the weather, I'm like, yep, it's gloomy and humid. And this is just Dollar Tree wire. Manny, you could so do this with your paper. If you guys are not following Manny, Manny's Paper Fun, you've got to go. You've got to. So click on his name. No, Manny, come in as your business so that people can find you. In fact, anybody who has a business, just welcome to come in here as your business and let people click on your links because, you know, as you're commenting and they get to know you, they'll click on your links and we want everybody to follow our friends, you know? That's how you find new people and you find new projects and get to know people you never knew. And maybe, maybe you don't think you would like a certain thing, but after you watch them a few times, you, you're like, I'm gonna try that, so. There we go, Manny's Paper Fun. I'm totally amazed at what you can do with paper and how you, oh gosh, I just love it. So, I mean, I always think, I'm gonna try that, I'm gonna try that, but I never do, because you know, I'm just always on to the next thing I have to do, but. Yeah, it's a rainy day, Linda. Oh yeah, yeah, y'all need to be careful for sure. Okay, so I've just rolled this up into a few you know, strands that, that was gonna fit her head. And then I'm just going to kind of secure it with a wire. So you're just, we're gonna just make her a little crown, a little, one of those flower crowns is what they're called. And that is good, then we'll just cut this off. And now from here on out, all we need to do is hot glue our little elements on here. Doesn't he, Brenda? So, and he's fun. So if you, you know, if you're like me, we like to go around and watch those people who encourage and have fun and lift up their friends. And Manny does that. And a lot of you guys. So, um, I'm just going to kind of cut off some of this stuff. These are just little pink, little pink, you know, whatever flowers you have, whatever you have around your house. You might have some beads from jewelry that have popped off. Use those. Guys, I love to show things that don't cost you a lot of money. And, you know, if you want to go out and buy stuff, that's great. Do it. But if you don't, use what you have. Okay, so then that's this where the moss comes in. I'm going to cut apart a few piece of the, pieces of this moss. They're going to be really tiny. So I don't know if y'all can even see this. They're going to be so tiny. But this is it. And you're going to see how cute it is. Okay, and then we're gonna take our crown, and obviously the part where I twisted that around is gonna be in the back, and I'm just gonna put a little tiny dot of hot glue on here and then pick up a little pink, tiny little flower with it. And then the next one, I go down just a notch, and then I'm gonna pick up some green. 
And for that green, I might end up cutting a little bit if I got too much because this is such a tiny little crown, it doesn't take much. Can y'all see this? Tiny, tiny. But these are kind of the fun elements you can do that make somebody go, wow, because they're gonna see that you literally handmade this and takes, you know, takes the effort to do it, which is so nice. People love getting something that you made. And you can do this with your kids. Of course, not hot glue, but let them have regular glue and just explain that it'll have to dry. And we're just doing one and then the other. So pink and then green, pink and then green. And I'm gonna show you this cute. It's so cute already, just this tiny little flower crown, right? Hello, Tony. Hello, Stephanie. Thank you for the stars, you sweet thing. I know you were wanting to see these little fairies. Thank you. Oh, I know, Kim. We, we make the rounds. There's so many. And you learn something from each one. And, of course, the Sparkle 6. We all, I mean, I feel like we all follow all of them. They're just brilliant. Those are the big guns, the big uh, pros, right? And we love watching them. Okay, that's probably enough. So that's my little flower crown. It could not get any simpler. And I'm just gonna put this on her little, so if you're just popping on, we just have a little pod. And then I don't know what this is, some type of little, almost like a, a nut shell maybe, guys. Does anybody know? I don't know who to ask. Maybe Shayna? I feel like I've asked her, but maybe not. So I'm just gonna kinda hot glue, put a dollop of hot glue, pretty big dollop on the back of this little crown, and then just pop it on her head. And hold it just a second till it settles. And that's it for that crown. Do y'all like it? I think it looks so cute. Oh good, I see hearts. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. An acorn, it's not an acorn. This is what it is. I would love to know. I'm just really curious. Um, but I've used these for a lot of projects and that's kind of why I just really wish I knew. Then this is a flower. I already used one petal of it for something. So don't throw away your stuff, guys. Be a hoarder like me. <laughs> I'm teasing. I mean, I'm not a hoarder, but I could be considered a craft hoarder. I'm sure. Okay, then we're just gonna put a little dollop of, tiny dot of hot glue on here, and then press it on the back of her, and that's one wing, y'all see? Take the other one, do the same thing. Just pressing it on the back, like so, and look how sweet. So if you have little kids, granddaughters, how sweet, they would love to make this or help you. And of course, like I said, regular glue, not hot glue, but that's okay. And then we will put a stick in her and call her done. So I have lots of these little dowel sticks you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. They come in a bag and they've already got a point on them. So I'll just cut it down to size. That's it, I just use well, you know, your scissors will even cut them. And the bottom of this pot is dried. You just pop it right in there. It doesn't really need hot glue. It just stays just like it is, okay? How cute. So that's one. And then let's make this other one. This is, I just think she is precious. And it's all natural elements again. So y'all like it? Oh, Marianne, I think I'm a, a professional at making something out of nothing. <laughs> Um, I've had, I gave a gift to someone, I won't say who, um, but I gave a gift to someone and she said, let me see if I can remember the exact way she said it. She said, I have never seen anybody who can make something out of literally nothing. And I was kind of like, is that a compliment or is that one of those like backhanded compliments, <laughs> you know? But at the time, we were newly married, had no money, and I mean, no, you know, how newly, many newlyweds are, and this was in the 80s, 
And um, yeah, I, I, I've always made things and created things and some people don't appreciate it as much as others, but. Oh, thank you, Brenda, appreciate ya. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Tony. Hi, Beth, how are you today? Thanks, Tricia. Tesha, sorry. Thank you, Steph. Yes, Pat. I mean, it's so fun to just reuse what you have. Okay, so on this one, you guys remember I showed you how I made my Lazy River with this little cardboard cutout, right? <laughs> so take your cardboard. I mean, we're talking how many uses can you get out of a piece of cardboard, but just any box will work. And we're just going to cut basically a triangle or a dress shape, you know, but triangle is kind of what you're going for. Doesn't have to be perfect, so you do not need a pattern. You just cut the best triangle you can do. No biggie. Oh, Debbie, glad you're here. Come join the fun. I love to get you guys to take a little break with me and pop in here and have some fun and chit chat in the comments and you know, you just, we all need a creative break. So a lot of times I'll say, come on to happy hour. Let's just take a little minute and do something creative. So now we've got our dress. Um, I wanna show y'all what I use for her crown and then we'll paint it. So the dollar, my Dollar Tree has these and they're little um, seat, like nautical kind of, I don't know, what do you call it? Like, what are these y'all? You know, the ship. Uh, it's not a ship wheel. What's it called? <laughs> I always do this when I go up. And the little beads, it's just an a thing that's already attached. So I just took one of these. Y'all, somebody tell me what the proper name is. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Debbie. Ship wheel. Okay, ship wheel. I just took one and cut it in half. I've already used the one half on this little girl. See her crown? And so I'm gonna use, because I don't even know what I'll do with this, but for a dollar, I love the beads and I'll, I'll use it. But I just thought this would make a good little crown because it's the right size and I didn't really have a crown. So anyway, we could definitely make another flower crown, but I just thought I would show y'all an alternative. Just again, thinking outside the box, using something you have to make something different with it that nobody else would have thought of maybe. And so I'm just kind of cutting off these little spokes or whatever they're called. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of getting those cut off. And you can take a nail file and, um, you know, buff it out because, or a little small piece of um, sanding paper. This is one of the little blocks. Ah, good, I'm glad you like it. I mean, it's not a perfect print. Might be a Helm Lori. Uh, not the perfect crown, but it's cute and it looks like a crown once it's on her head. You know exactly what it is. So I like thinking outside the box. And I know me and whatever I use this for, I'll have leftover. I mean, I probably won't use the whole thing if I even use those little wheels. So when I saw it, I was looking for a crown and I thought, you know, I could make another one or maybe I can use something I have and just kind of started trying to figure it out. Actually... I don't think I want to use that one. I'm going to cut another one because that one did not have the right amount of, I want three little pokies, whatever you call them. So I want three of these things for the crown. So bear with me while I cut this one. And guys, if you don't mind sprinkling this out, I'd be so appreciative. It really does help. I know that you have heard other creators. I was just on with Jennifer she was on here before me, and I've heard others say that, you know, Facebook is not being great to creators, and it's not, and I don't know, we, none of us really know what's going on, but we need your help. Uh, we really do. So, if you don't mind sprinkling this, I'd be ever so grateful. Uh, and I always encourage you to follow the ones that you love somewhere else. So if you enjoy what I do, please get on my text system so that I'm able to text you if anything ever goes awry here on Facebook. Um, 
we have a way to tell you where we are, right? I'm on YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, all the places. And up in the description of this video, I did put my website and I put my text alert. So you can sign up to get a text if you'd like to. And I have bunches of ladies on there and it's helpful, right? Because thank you so much, guys. Oh, y'all are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so it's just a steering wheel or whatever. Hi, Terry. <laughs> it's Delta Bravo. Hi, I'm Art and Grace with Delta, or I'm Deb Brown. Or, I can't even say it, it's so weird. I'm Delta Bravo with Art and Grace. It's an inside joke and we're being silly and I know. Okay, so now we've got our little wooden piece of a wheel that we can now paint and make a crown. So I'm just gonna take this gilding paint, shake it up really well because it's oil-based. I see a lot of, yes, Debbie, thanks for saying that. Um, when you sprinkle or, you know, do that, it does need to be public or else it, like, doesn't count. Nobody sees it, really. So, if you would do it public, which somebody may be able to explain how to do that, I don't know. <laughs> no, Beth, we have to give you a, it's like, so you would be a Bravo Bravo, that's what you would be. Hey, bravo, bravo, that's the way this works, okay? So you have to use the that system, you know, military system or whatever. <laughs> okay, so this is what I used. I usually use one by Plaid, but they were out at Michael's, so I, I picked this one up, which is Michael's brand, and it's worked beautifully. I love it, so uh, save a little money if you want to, or I know a lot of the creators that we follow, they have ones that they use and love, so they all work about the same. This brush will get hard as a rock, so use a brush that you don't care about, and then when you when you put it back into the paint the next day or whenever, it's gonna soften right back up. So I'm just gonna paint this real quick. This will be her little crown. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna take my little Cricut tool and pick it up with Y'all, I'm really excited. I'm splurging and getting my nails done tomorrow with my daughter because tomorrow is her birthday. So we're gonna go get our nails done and eat lunch. She is the best daughter. We all have, don't we all have one? I, I, we just love our kids so much. You would do anything for them and you just want them to know how loved they are but I don't think they ever know, do they? Okay, so just painted that little crown. I'll set this aside, let it dry for a second. It won't take very long to dry. Thank you guys. I'm gonna come back through and I will thank every last one of you. I appreciate it so, so much. And just never, I will never take it for granted. Even if my page happens to get big someday, I will still appreciate everything you do. Okay, we're going to take our little dress, and we are going to give it some cuteness. So, let's put some moss on it, and that will be the base for this little dress. And if anybody's asking any questions that I've missed, I go back to and also answer the questions. So, we're just going to kind of press this down. I do this part pretty quick because, obviously, the hot glue is going to dry. And then I'll show you how I kind of press it down to get it as flat as I can. If you have just popped on and you don't know who I am, maybe you're watching on the Craft Around the Clock page, welcome. And I have no doubt that my sweet friends on here are talking to you and saying welcome to because when I go back and look at comments, I'm always like touched because the ones of you who follow me and know me and everything, you're like, oh, you're gonna love her, welcome. I just am so grateful for y'all. So good to me and to my new friends. Okay, that's it. You just press down your moss, give it a little haircut. The only reason, because I don't know if all of it is gonna be like this, but this really will take on a life of its own. So just pressed it down. We're gonna do the back the same way.
Has anybody been inspired over the weekend to do a fairy garden for the first time? Or maybe you weren't thinking about it, but you're going to do it now. I just have loved them. I didn't realize C.S. Lewis was very, um, he had a lot to say about fairy gardens. So I, I'm learning. I didn't know, really know anything about them. And kudos to Chris Hunter and Kathy D. Monaco because they come up with a theme and then the rest of us who are invited to participate are, you know, we're just like, okay, let's go, let's do this. And they come up with the best ideas. I don't know how they do it. They're just professionals, brilliant. And always makes it fun, not only for us, but of course for you guys who watch. Okay, so that's her little dress, part of it. That's the base, easy peasy. And you could do the sides if you wanted to. Let's see, did I do the sides? I really didn't. Um, you could probably just bring it around, let's see. Aw, Kim. Yeah, they, they lose the interest, but someday the kids, they'll have kids who will definitely want to do that. I'm just taking a leftover flower. You know, when you buy these, at the, this came from the Dollar Tree, um, and I don't throw this away, and I'm gonna show you why. So, you will see. When I say don't throw it away, of course I do some. I can't keep every single one, but I'm gonna show you what you can do. And then quickly, you can just pop these on here. Just a little tiny dot of hot glue. And I try to just put it in the center so that the flower will kind of flower out. And I do go all the way around. I know I'm missing some fun comments. Oh, good, Brenda. That's what we love because I, I'm sure that you can tell what a blast we have had. So we want y'all to have it too. We want y'all to try and see what you come up with. And then please, please post your pictures where we can see them. And I recommend going to the page of whoever inspired you and, and also posting there. So post in the sparkle room and then post on that creator's page because we don't get a notification sometimes when you post in a group. But if you like come to my page and post, hey, I made this because of you, then, oh my gosh, we're so happy to see that. So that's her little skirt, you know, just adding some embellishment to her skirt. I'm gonna cut one of these to make a little collar Easy peasy. I'm just taking, I've got hot glue all over these nails that, and I'm going to just kind of come in and cut a little, just like a little collar shape, you know. Show you like that. And then pop this down with some hot glue. Right here at the neck. And then I'm also gonna kind of tack down this other part too. Just taking little bitty bits of hot glue to kind of tack that down. Okay. And I'm gonna now take a stick. This is the same stick I just used and I'm gonna kind of cut it at an angle so that one of these ends kind of has a, a sharper end and you can always sand it down to get this, make it smooth and get the splinters off. I don't wanna really, really go to town on it because of the noise, it's kind of a gross noise. I'm gonna poke it right through here and I kind of came up not quite center, so let me come back and try to get right up the center of this little stick. You could do that first if you wanted to. Okay, and here's where we're gonna drop on a bead for just a round bead for her head. And I am going to put hot glue down in here and hot glue that down. You can also put just a little dot right there at the top of this stick. So right here at the top, as well as on the inside the bead and it'll hold it, it'll hold it. 
coming together. Bye, Lisa. Hi, Jeannie. How are you today? Oh, I love that, Mary. We love it. Thank you for the stars, Beth. Ooh, Christy, that's going to be great. That is awesome. Okay, so we know this is the front of her. Now I'm going to show you what I used for arms. So just take one of these and use that. That's all you need to do for arms. I think I had one that was brown. Yeah, this 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 flower actually was brown and I liked that better. So I'm going to take this one to use for her arms. But you could use the green. It would be fine. So I'm just taking the flowers off and using this for her arms. So and because they're also bent, so it gives the perfect little shape for a little arm. Okay. Didn't wanna pop in there, so I'm gonna just pop it right here Hold it down a second. I may not be getting that in the best location. It might be a little too low, but it's okay. You get the idea anyway. And then you can always take a little more of your green moss if you need to cover before you glue that down. Also, give those arms a little trim if they're too long. Okay. Thank you, Tammy. How are you today? I know you've been doing a lot of paint parties, haven't you? Then leaves, this was the only thing I had left off of this whole bunch that I had, but of course I kept it and I'm gonna use these leaves for her wings. So any leaves would work. In fact, I think I just am going to use the one and cut it into two, maybe. Let's see. Not cut this one. I just kind of want two that are going to be about the same size. So that's probably good. And then I'm going to put a dot of hot glue on the front side of the leaf and then poke it right on here to the back for her wing. Does that look right? Yeah. She's starting to come together. We still need to do some hair. Hi, Sussy. How are you today? Hi, Rula. Thank you, Susan. Hi, Carol. How are you? I don't think I said hi to you. Okay. And then hair, you can do anything you have. We could use the moss, um, certainly, but this is something that, okay, you know when you buy the really, this came in a really tall arrangement and we used what we needed for a vase and this was left. So, you know, comes in here into the craft room, but I'm just taking some of these. This is probably way too many, but you guys, in fact, I should have, here's my, Here's what I had left from another project already cut. So I'm just gonna take these. I'm not gonna do anything except take them in the bundle and put some hot glue on them. So I'll show you here. I'm just putting some hot glue on them and then I'm gonna press them on her head. Now, is it gonna look like real hair? Of course not. But are fairies real? No, so it doesn't matter. It's gonna be cute, trust me. I think anyway because I like kind of having the natural elements and using the sticks and the greenery and flowers. It's just, it adds to the charm of it. And then cut them however long you want her hair to be. Okay, so now this is a process, we're not done. But you just kind of do the same thing around the next. Who would have thought to use this for hair, right? Press them down, just hold it a second for it to kind of set. 
before you cut it. Aw, oh, thanks, Pat. Yes, I, I really, it's a challenge, Gloria. It really is to kind of use what you have or what you have in your yard or when you go on a walk, you know, if you live by a park or, you know, a creek, there's no telling what you can find and use in your crafts and it's fun. Okay, so we got kind of the back. Now I'm not, I know I'm not doing this great but I'll show you my original one, which I took a little more time with. Although I'm not, I'm not a perfectionist with crafts. The whole reason I started doing art and crafts online was to help other women find a release and a escape kind of for the stress in their lives. And um, when my mom had Alzheimer's, I needed something. You know, I just was like on the verge of a nervous breakdown and I was working full time trying to take care of my family and take care of my mom. And uh, I had to take, nobody has time, nobody has extra time, but I had to make the time. So I got up earlier and chose to give up a little bit of sleep in order to have a quiet time with God. And uh, at some point, he impressed on me to do some art and I, you know, got out an art journal and some, I think I used watercolors at first and then back to acrylic paints. And before I knew it, I was doing that every day and helped so much. And I never had music on or anything. I just prayed the whole time I would work. And it was so helpful. And when she passed away, it was like I knew he was wanting me to help other women have that, you know, place to go to, place to go to, to do uh, things that relax us and that can bring us some joy in our hard circumstances. So that's what I do full time now and love every minute of it. And I love just kind of being an encouragement to women that are going through things, um, so yeah, if that sounds like you or somebody you know that might need that, send them my way and they will love my community. I have the sweetest ladies, um, as most of us do, but um, just the most awesome group. Yes, that's right, Mary. Oh, Connie. Oh, absolutely. You got it. Okay. So this is not perfect, like I said, but uh, you get the idea to use the hair, the, the little sticks for her hair. And then we're gonna put that crown on that we, that we did. I'm gonna hot glue this on. And by the way, if you um, are on here or watch the replay and you are somehow affected or touched by Alzheimer's or dementia, please, give me a follow if you're not already because I'm about to have a fundraiser for the Alzheimer's Association and I would love for you to be a part. You do not have to donate. It's all definitely optional, but just come be a part because a big part of helping is just getting the word out. So you can, you know, sprinkle a post or uh, something like that and that will be a great help. Okay, guys. Now we've got the little crown on there. We can definitely do something to the crown. So diamond dust or, um, you know, enchanted shimmer I have. I don't know what to do. I'll try this. Um, this is glamor dust. It's by Deco Art and it's new to me. I have not, um, let me grab some. I have not worked with it before. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Mod Podge on my old brush or an old stick. And let's see how this looks. We'll kind of try this together. Okay, let's try this. Oh wow, this is extremely fine glitter. So if you don't like glitter like Pat, my friend Pat from Unique does not like glitter, then you might not want to use this, but it's extremely fine, super, super fine, but it's pretty. I like it. Glitter doesn't bother me a bit. Thanks, Pamela. 
Thank you, Colleen WJ. Flower petal for a hat. Yes, that'd be precious. You can do anything. Um, let's cut this down just a little bit. Cutting it at an angle. And so now we've got the two that we've made. And what you can do, let me just quickly give you a couple of ideas. So you can take some foam. Where's my foam? This came from Dollar Tree. It gives you two in a bundle. And this I would need to cut down a little bit. I ordered this on Amazon. It's not the best. I uh, hope Facebook doesn't take me down. They're going to go, that lady's wielding a knife. Um, but you can just, you know, it's like a sharp, but it's really good for cutting things down. But it's pretty flimsy. Let me just say that. It's, I'm kind of having to hold it carefully because it's pretty flimsy. I'm sorry about the sound, y'all. I'm very aware that sometimes when we do these crafts, the sound is like, ugh. I'm gonna use a different color of moss. I'll use this darker one. And just uh, kind of hold this down on here. You could definitely uh, paint your your base green or buy one that's already green. They definitely come green. Um, but I always just take what Dollar Tree has and use it. I hope you guys are still with me. I have not been able to look at comments and I, I will go back and do it, but I sure hate that I can't chit chat with you. But I love looking up and seeing that you guys are chit chatting. Is Sissa on here? I miss my Sissa. Well, I don't know. I saw somebody say Sissa, but she is the dearest friend. And in my group, I have a private group called Art and Craft VIPs. And we craft and do art together and have a blast. And I would love for anybody who's interested to join us and meet this amazing, sweet community of ladies. Okay, so that's kind of that. And then I'm gonna do the size. Are we okay? Gosh, we ran out of time. I really didn't think it would take this long. I might just do the front and we'll see. Oh, is Sissa on here? I do see Tana saying hi, Sissa. So you are. I just don't see you. But hello, Sissa. I'm always glad when you ladies pop on with me. And I know everybody's busy. Never expect it, but always happy when you can. Put an earbud in that ear if you're at work and at least get in a little bit of creativity in your day. I promise it will lift your mood especially if you're following the right people who will lift you up and encourage you. Uh, so if your boss gets mad, you tell him that this is uh, Mental Health Awareness Week. <laughs> I'm teasing. But, you know, I think that most employers recognize after going through COVID that people need ways to deal with stress and anxiety. And so I think that they're pretty understanding, don't you? Uh, I think even they needed... I think they, even our bosses, needed a way to deal with the stress and anxiety. And there's no escaping it in this world, right? One day, but not this world. Okay, so I'm, that's gonna, I'm gonna call that done so that I can show you what you can do with this. So this is from Target. I took the tag off, but it wasn't very much. I wanna say three or five dollars. So if you've ever had one from Target, let me know what you paid because I think it was three or five. It wasn't over five. Um, and then you just put this in here. And now remember, you know, you'd want it covered well. And then if you want to add another element, you can. You know, let's say that you want to add this little house. I would 
tell you what I would do real quick. Maybe I can do it. This is just a stick. And I would put a lot of hot glue, probably E6000 to be honest, on this. And it's probably not going to be short enough, but you get the idea. This is to give you guys an idea. And then pop in one of your fairies or both. I think this little one might look cute in here. And then, of course, I would put lights. I bought these, and they're going to be great, but I didn't have batteries. So, you might, you know, this came from Michael's. It's just a long little ivy greenery thing with lights intertwined. But I think that would be cute. So, you get the idea. Now, I would need to clean this up. You know what I'm saying. You get the idea. And get all that cleaned up here. But it would be super cute sitting somewhere. Okay, what do y'all think? Do y'all like it? Also, I'm gonna get that out. Okay, also, another thing you could do is, and I'm just gonna, for sake of time, pop some of this greenery in here. Pretend that this is floral foam with the greenery topping, and then you can pop in one of your little girls in here and give that as a gift. And maybe even have a little flower, like a, a real flower. And this little teacup is just one I've had forever. And it sits on a bathroom shelf just to look pretty. But how cute would that be? So, a couple of easy ideas to add to your garden or to add to a little plant. Not only for your fairy garden, but for Mother's Day. I think these would be sweet. So guys, thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate you. Thank you for every sprinkle and every star. I'll go back and answer your comments. And be sure and give me a follow if you're not. And be sure and go up to the link in this description. And it has a link for Craft Around the Clock group. And go follow the next presenter. Okay, guys, have a great day. I will see you on Thursday. Bye, guys. If you're in my VIP group, I'll see you at 2. Okay? Bye.